Auto Assembly, Europe's largest Transformers convention. First run in 2000, with 31 people. It has blown up to 1,064 people 15 years later at the Birmingham Hilton Metropole Hotel. The last ever Auto Assembly was held in 2015, but AA is not going away if we can help it. This year, I spoke to some of the attendees of Auto Assembly to see what it really means to the fans. It's the Empire. Uh, about 200 miles I've been here, home Derbyshire, and then down here. So I've been all the place in the last 10, 10 years I've been here. I'm Robert. I'm not far to the south coast, so for a couple of hours, give or take, depending on traffic. So not really far at all. Yes, my name is Sammy Sadek. Not, well, not, not too far, though, I guess, yeah. My name is Luke Hollywood. Well, I'm from Ireland, so I had to get a plane. So I went to the airport, and then I got a plane. The fact that over the past several years that I've been going, I have made some amazing friends. Friends that will last for God knows how many years to come. Even if AA ends, we'll still meet each other, we'll still see each other, we'll still keep in contact. And it's that friendship, that that bond that I treasure so much about AA. Apart from actually seeing my friends at the pub, and also I don't know if seeing my friends for at least a year. That's actually meeting the guests, it's nice to meet someone who's done the voice of your favourite character, who have been in a TV show and film, who joined the last year, County Coleman, and these turtles. And that's a fan of I was only old enough to watch it at the time. And meeting Michael Angel, that was a massive sort of fan or a fan of the game, really. so I just love meeting the guests and getting to talk to them. Photos, stuff like that, so. Well, part of um, what assembly is special to me, well, it would have to be the people because although a lot of people go for the toys, which that's one of the reasons why, I would say that the people are hands down the best thing about this convention experience because when you go to a convention like this and when you meet people who share the same common interests as you, that's a form of friendship that honestly is it's worth experiencing and worth trying out and, and really it's worth lasting. The thing about, I think most people will say that, people come to our assembly for the people. You know, like the toys are great, the animals are great, the guests are great, but like it's the friendships that you make here that like just stick and that's what brings people back year after year after year. Well, my first auto assembly was back in 2003, and this was the first time I ever heard about this. And when I heard there was a Transformers convention, I was immediately excited and I really wanted to go. And when I first got there for 2003's convention, it was... I, put it, I was on cloud nine at that point. I, I was enjoying the entire experience and getting everything, just so, getting, every, getting so immersed in the entire convention and buying as many of the toys and meeting and, and, and just getting to know as few people as possible. My first auto assembly was three years ago and I was nervous going in at first like anybody is. But of course, once I met, I met the guys, I met Robert Turner, I met uh, Jim the Monkey Wilson. I'm sure, you know, we just, we just stuck, it was electric. And I, I had a great time, and that's why I keep on coming back. Uh, the first one I went to was 2013, and the first convention by myself. Nervous as anything, and I've seen all these people on YouTube, and I've met them before, I haven't spoken to them before. And as soon as I came through the main doors, I think I saw um, Jim Monkey on TV. Like, a massive hug and sort of the right moment to check and sort of put me at ease. So, that's quite memorable. I, I didn't actually stay at the hotel that really, year, but it's still one of the best ones I've been to. Oh wow, that was back in 2012. And I was shy. I, I had no social skills whatsoever. I was going to a convention that I'd heard about on the web and seen that people from YouTube go there. And I was quite excited. And when I got there, I, <laughs> let's face it, the first day, which was Saturday, I wasn't really talking to anyone. I was just sitting there by myself, kind of awestruck at all these famous people from YouTube that I knew walking around in front of me, and they weren't just on the screen. And it was only when um, a friend of mine, Sammy, came up and actually said hi, it was from that point onwards that it really kind of socialised. Um, the first AA for me was just it was a turning point for my social skills, and it, I got fond memories of it. The fans make the convention.
but without the dedicated men and women that organise and volunteer, auto-assembly just wouldn't happen. Auto-assembly has been a very special part of a lot of people's lives, and we will miss it. But we wish Simon and Trish Plum, and the rest of the team that makes AA happen, luck, and thank them for 15 years of bringing us fans together. Thank you. If you don't know this man, you should. This is Barry Shaw. Come up on that stage with me. Hold that for a second. And this is Barry Shaw. Bangers and Mash. This is the TV show that never happened. A Scott with a bad attitude. And a Greek with a big appetite. I saw him.